Hello tubes. Uh, you know, you see a lawnmower like this, you know something's up. Well, um, this is a lawnmower I got in a trade the other day. Um, you know, offered him some money off. And I seem to now, now, now know why he was so happy to get rid of it. This thing was a Pandora's box. Um, let me show you something. This thing if it was the poster child for a redneck together. This right here was the recoil. I can't, it's all messed up, you know, bent apart. Um, I can't even get it, I, I couldn't even get it up the gas tank off of it. So I had to literally cut it off with a hacksaw. Um, so uh, just to replace it, because uh, I think the dogs fell out or something. Well, that's all fun and dandy. I'm like, oh, well, whatever. I had, I knew I had a couple of those around. I had a couple of recoils and a gas tank around and some gas caps. The, the best thing about uh, that I got off of this is the gas cap for this one and the handle for the pull cord. Everything else in this is scrap. Um, so I spent the better time of, uh, you know, probably about an hour or hour and a half maybe um, putting this together from uh, my, my par Ford's parts over here um, uh, now this gas tank I pulled off of some other lawnmower and I had a gas cap the recoil came off another lawnmower uh, and I was got it all together in it ironically it started on the first pull after it you know, I cleaned the carburetor out too while I was at it it wasn't too bad the guy did say he always used stable and was pretty good with his gas. Um, but it shook like crazy and I didn't want to deal with that. So I, you know, put it up and said, look at it later. Well, uh, I got looking at it and, well, I thought maybe the, the blade was uh, not balanced. This is the blade. Oh, it isn't balanced. Um, so I thought, well, this is a you know kind of a universal blade so I thought maybe uh, since I knew I had a, a um, MTD blade this is a 20 inch uh, go ahead and try that well I put it on it this one isn't balanced I had checked it and it still shook a lot so I got to looking at it and it, the blade was loose on it well, after getting the blade adapter off, kind of see why. You see these little nubs there? They kind of pushed off hard. What happened is with this um, universal blade, didn't really fit right. You see this? You see this here? It moves. Well, on the, you know, it does that. And all that, all that over time, wore out these nubs that hold it in place. So this blade adapter with self-propelled is no good anymore. This blade isn't any good anymore. It's, not, it's for scrap now. Uh, Cause I, I, you, can't, you can't balance it. Even if you were to shave off enough, you're gonna, it's gonna be almost the whole blade on one of the sides. But this one, I, this, this one I pulled off of a, another mower is balanced and, and good but it's 20 inch. Well, I just had a heck of a time getting this, um, uh, where did I put it? Oh, getting this blade adapter with pulley off of it. Uh, I got it off. Uh, technique I used was WD-40 and a pry bar. Um, so, you know, pry bar, imagine it's like, uh, you know, it's like this like that, pry bar, like this, or, you know, like this, or whatever, you know, and a, a rubber mallet, just to tap it around, um, and it came off. Uh, I can't show you this runs, because I can't run it without a blade on it, because it'll probably break a flywheel key, but it does run really good, it starts on the first pull. Um, I'm just gonna have to get a blade adapter, and 
probably a new blade. Um, but everything else on this mower works pretty good. It, um, you know, this, I'm telling you this, I, I have never seen anything so, well, for lack of a better word, foobard in my life. Um, this all, so, uh, and, and all the other things I, I, um, did to this is I had to pull, uh, I had to, I, I, I'm glad I keep all my, a lot of my, um, scrap mower parts because I, uh, used a lot of the, these in it. Uh, there was a carburetor spring in here I used. There, there's an extra one in there. But the, um, return from the auto choke, uh, it was missing. Actually, I think he had wired it up with, uh, this, you know. Um, and, uh, I pulled it off of, uh, the return off of this other Troy belt that I trash picked, uh, which I might be able to get going. Um, I might make, make this into a primer bulb style because I have a primer bulb, uh, carb and, uh, and, uh, and the box for it. So why not? But, uh, this one, uh, I did fix the handlebars here. Uh, the wheel down there, you see there's a bolt missing and this one is missing a blade adapter and a blade when I picked it up. Um, suspect it will run I haven't checked it out more but uh, nothing me babbling um, so uh, stay tuned tubes bye